Hello, Tyler. How are you? Hello. I'm doing well. How are awesome. you? Awesome. Great. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, indeed. So today we're talking about something kind of kind of interesting. Um, we've helped clients with this before, but it's something that is really ingrained or needs to be really ingrained into any successful brand. And that's having a purpose, a mission, and a vision. Um, that is really kind of like what helps your like helps everybody in the team get up, come to work, be excited about what you're doing and kind of know if what you're working on is in line with business goals and things like that. Yeah. Um, why, why are they so important to have? This is a great topic. Cause I feel like it's in some ways like super overplayed, like people just kind of like, yeah, you need to have your purpose and your mission, your vision. And it's like, just kind of cheesy in some way. Some people explain it. Um, I don't, I, I think what's interesting about it is like those areas drive everything for me. And I mm-hmm. have a hard time at like if those run out or they're not organized or they're not communicated or thought through or whatever written down in some ways, like I have a hard time even like making decisions about like directionally, like, where do you go? Mm-hmm. And I'm one of those types of people that like, I look like further down the road to then figure out like reverse engineer that to figure out then how do I get to that thing? And that can be like, as simple as a house that you'd want to buy or a car that you'd want to buy or a business you want to build or a family you want to have or whatever. Like it can be very simple um, or complex or, or, you know, obviously in a business sense, it gets more complex because you're adding people to it and you have to bring them into it. But as far as importance goes, I think honestly, it helps give you a direction. And if you don't have a direction, you're just going to kind of flounder and go all sorts of different ways. And that sounds good. And that sounds good. And that sounds good. And I guess I'll go this way, this way, or this way today and this way next year. And, mm-hmm. and it makes it really difficult to actually like stay focused. Um, and I think all of us can attest to the fact that, you know, phones and notifications and this, that, and the other thing and news, news articles and news feeds and social feeds and everything, they're always all pulling us in a ton of different directions. And I've talked to so many people that like, just from a personal standpoint, don't get a whole lot done oftentimes because they get distracted. But yet, mm-hmm. if you're not distracted, you can be hyper-focused. And so I think having a super clear purpose, which is more so like the why behind everything, a mission, like where are you going? And then that vision of like, what is it going to look like along the way? Why they're so important. So that was a long-winded answer, but. I no, but I love it. And it's super, it simplified it a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's start with purpose. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a really big philosophical question, but how do you yeah. find your purpose? Oh my gosh. Uh, I wish I had like some sermon prepared and this could have been like some, I don't know, scriptural thing or Bible thing. No, it's not. Um, it's, I mean, honestly, like for me, how I've come up with my purpose, there's a lot of like self-reflection in, in a lot of ways. Of, and a lot of it for me has just been looking at, hey, what do I like to do? What am I good at? What do I like to do? Like what? are things that like get me excited about something or not, you know, and you Mm -hmm. kind of measure those. And then I also, and this is going to sound funny, but like, what pisses you off? Like, what do you get frustrated with? Like, not just like a, oh my gosh, they cut me off driving down the road. And more so like, if you're in a conversation with somebody or group of people and you get frustrated or find, you know, it's like tension or something when people start talking about something, like pay attention to that because there's a reason for that. And oftentimes it's because of the fact that you really care about that. You might disagree with what they said. So you're passionate yeah. about the other, you know, like the, a different angle to it. Mm-hmm. Um, or you really do feel like, no, 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 you're selling yourself short. There's more to this or something. Um, pay attention to that because that helps you kind of understand like, well, what from a purpose standpoint, mixing those. So like, for me, it's just been like, that purpose side, like I love building things. So I'm, I'm a builder. I like to mm-hmm. have really nothing on the canvas and I like to make everything happen. Um, and I like to not have a ton of direction and then be able to like, sky's the limit. How far do you want to take this or, or, or short? Do you want to take it kind of thing? And then from a purpose standpoint, honestly, when people like kind of sell themselves short or they stop too soon on something or they're not willing to dive into it, I get frustrated And a lot of it's because I really hope that people understand that there's so much more and that can be more in business. That could be more in, you know, personal life or relationship with kids or whatever the thing is. I'm just not like a super content, satisfied person. I'm working on it. So don't, nobody (laughs) needs to reach out. I'm doing fine. I'm working on that. But I always am like, no, 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 there's another level. There's another thing you can go after. There's more to whatever the thing is, where the topic is. And so mixing all those together kind of gives me that purpose of I like to build things that bring impact 
and help bring people further and faster. Um, and so then that's kind of like, okay, now that's the purpose piece. And so then you can jump into like the next things that kind of come down the road, but does that make sense? Yeah, Amanda? it does. I, and I feel like you, you said a lot of things that, yeah, like you're right. When I'm in a conversation with someone and especially like, even when I think about sales or marketing or business growth, if they like say something, I wholeheartedly disagree with, like I yeah. do get super annoyed. Yeah. Totally. Funny. That is, and that's a part of what we do. Yeah. Um, Let's move on to mission. And I love our mission statement so much. Um, do what's right in behalf of our people and our clients always. Yeah. Um, how, well, two, two questions. How did you come up with ours and how can others come up with theirs? Word. I feel like, I don't know if that is a very fair answer. This took a while, honestly. I feel like I wrote mm-hmm. down a million different things. And honestly, I really struggled with an actionable mission statement from like a business objectives standpoint and more of a like whole uh, encompassing type of a mission statement from a company and direction. Um, And so I think I landed probably somewhere between all those, but just honestly just wrote down a lot of different things of um, where we're going, what's true the whole time. And for me, it was taking care of people and serving people and supporting people. And how can you, you know, like I said earlier, help people get places further and faster than I did. Mm -hmm. And so that's like, there's a coaching element to that. And so then that fits in well with like my own personal mission and as well as us as, as like um, marketing consultants, helping clients Mm -hmm. and serving them. Um, Then there's also making the best choices along the way. Um, as far as, you know, like we need to take care of our team. And so like, even like you and I were talking a little bit ago about a lead that came in and we're like, well, I don't know if this is really a great fit, like company, but I don't think people would feel encouraged to work on this project just mm-hmm. based on like the way the company set up products are sold, all that stuff. And so we were able to go, I don't think this is probably the best, even though they might pay us a lot, whatever mm-hmm. to work on as a team, because it's probably not really taking care of our team, mm-hmm. kind of letting, potentially letting some toxicity into our, into our culture, mm-hmm. which isn't good. Um, and then it's the same thing with like taking care of clients. We want to help our clients win if they let us. That's usually the issue is that they don't let us necessarily help them, but um, we want to help them win. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it was like all of those things. And then we have some amazing like wordsmiths on our team that can just like we pull do. out the best words. And so they helped kind of pare it down into like a simple sentence. But, we do have some good wordsmiths on our team. Yeah. Yeah. What so, about other people? How can they create a mission statement? Yeah. I mean, I think there's like some different things you can look up online. You can Google how do I create a mission statement, all those types of things. Honestly, for me, it had to be super simple. Like it had to be something that like you could rattle off. I mean, you rattled it off earlier. It took super quick. It makes you think like it makes you go, wait a second. What does that mean? Like how, okay. It means a lot of different things to different people potentially. Um, And so I think, you know, we just spent a lot of time like paring it down but a lot of it is like what I said earlier is like, what's true the whole way. So like, if you've got a purpose of what you want to do and what you want to go build and all those types of things, what are some of the things that are like the same, the entire thing or the, or the entire time or things that you want to be the same the entire time. Um, mm-hmm. And ours is a lot about taking care of people and building a culture that is great and that people love to be a part of. Um, and so like, that's kind of how like we glom- we glabbed onto that knowing that it would be, I don't know if glabbed is a word. I'm just going to say that, but I'll Grab- leave it alone. We grabbed onto that. We held onto that for that, that thought. Um, but that's going to be true in 10 years. Mm-hmm. Like that we want to be about people. We want to be about a team. We want to be about culture. We want to know each other and know how each other tick and how each other work the best and can be the most effective and kind of support each other in that way. So that was something that was true along the way. And so I think we try to kind of pull out those types of uh, thoughts as we were kind of discussing it, brainstorming those types of things for a mission statement. I don't have like this framework of like fill in this and this and this, and there's your mission statement. Honestly, I've tried a lot of those, but it felt like they fell short of some of the different things that I really cared about. Um, and that was something that was important to me to try to figure out how to get in. So and one of the things I would say to you that I love about our mission statement, I think is, is important in any mission statement is that it needs, needs to be something that someone can make a decision based off of. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you can look, use our mission statement as a lens to look through anything and make, make the best decision. Yeah. Um, I really love that about it. Yep. Totally. No, it's a hundred percent. It's like, that's the same I think I talk about it often is like that filter that you make decisions through 
Yep. Your mission statement is part of it. Your vision is part of it. Your goals are part of it. You know, helps keep you on track to move forward in like a little bit more of a focused manner. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. Lastly, vision. Vision. This is the fun one. This is like sky's the limit. What do you want to do? What's possible? Um, like go get it, you know? Um, and everyone has a different version of what their vision is and everyone has a different, you know, desire of maybe it's how big to build something or what to go out and get. Um, but it's super important to have that vision. And it's super important in my mind, it's super important to stretch that vision um, because I like to be things that are really challenging. And so I'm motivated by that. I'm challenge motivated. So I'm not the guy that is registering for the marathon after training for five years because now I think it's safe to be able to say I could run one. I'm more of the guy that goes, yeah, I should run a marathon. I probably should run a mile first and then I'll register for the marathon because mm -hmm. I'm, you know, that's just, I'm challenge motivated. So I tend to think bigger, further down the road, further down like the, that path. Um, but as far as like creating one for yourself, sometimes like to get me started, I remember when I first started this business, I reached out to like five or six close friends and I asked, what do you think that I'm good at was a question. And this is like, fairly vulnerable at times, but like, what do you think I'm good at? And what do you see me doing in 10 years? And it was just like, I wanted their opinions. It wasn't this like weird thing. It was like, how, when's the last time you asked someone that? Probably never. Cause that was the first time I ever had, but it was really helpful in like jogging my brain of like, Oh, cause you oftentimes we're so obviously inside of our own skin. We don't think about, you know, what is it that you're like contributing to the world or your community or your people you're around? And so I asked those questions, which helped me kind of like steer that direction of like, oh, maybe I should build, it's gotta be about people. It's gotta be about a team. I've got some skills in communications and PR and, and marketing and sales. Okay. So I'm like taking those notes to kind of help build and formulate what that vision is. Um, and so I guess, yeah, I, I'll stop there. Does that make sense as far as kind of like building a vision or some ideas? It does. And I guess to add to it a little bit too, the thing that I, uh, like we talk about a lot and we talked about um talked about in a one-on-one -on -one with the team member earlier today is like you as the founder of Lone Fur set a vision and yeah. it's morphed a little bit but for the most part it's stayed true and you've created a team to help you carry that out yeah um and I think that's actually super important is when you have a vision and it's solid it's not waver in it Mm -hmm. There might be things that need to be affected, you know, or changed or tweaked, but like to create a team around it, not to create a vision around a team. Yeah. Because that team sure. can always change. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the vision is, I would say, obviously the others are important. The purpose, everything, you know, carries out into the vision, but like the vision's actually what's going to help you make decisions. Mm -hmm. Because if you're like, no, I want to be small, like in our case, small boutique marketing agency that only helps you know, people in my local community, you're probably, your vision is to grow a team of like three or four. Right. And that's mm -hmm. great. But if your team really, if like your vision is to get to the spot where you can be an investment firm and help invest in new startup brands and help kind of build their branding and their marketing and help them take off, like you're going to, it's an entirely different scenario than that small, like mm -hmm. localized and neither of them are right or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just your vision is going to help drive the direction you want to go and maybe how fast you're wanting to get there or what it might take to be able to get there. Um, and so I think it's like a very, like a decision-making device in a lot of ways, having like a clear, uh, clear vision, knowing that it's gotta be a little bit flexible because times change, things change, but for the most part, our direction hasn't changed, so. Awesome. This has been a super fun conversation. Absolutely. Thanks for asking great questions. Absolutely, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye.